Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. In the last tutorial, we looked at the header function and how we can use it to change headers. And we used the more common example of relocating a user to a specific page. Now, we're faced with this problem where we have output before our page or before our PHP code. Therefore, this header function is returning an error. So let's just have another look at that. We're saying cannot header can it modify header information. Headers already sent by this page, uh, and we're saying on line eight, so we're calling this on line eight. Now, there's a simple way um, to resolve this, and to solve this problem, we use a function called ob underscore start. Now, this stands for output buffering start, and what this function does is it turns output buffering on. Now, I'll show you how we write this in our program, uh, or our code rather, and then I'll tell you a bit about the function and why we have to use it and what it does. So I'm going to create some PHP tags as well up here before my output and also before the code that uses the header. So this is going at the very, very top of my page before any output. And we use ob underscore start, just called simply on its own with no arguments supplied. You can also pull this up a bit so it looks a bit neater, so it's all on one line. Okay, so ob start will not output any um, anything on the page. What, well, it will, but it will be the um, page output will be stored in an internal buffer rather than um, as headers. So. If we have some page content on here, uh, let's say my page, this is my page. Um, let's just, uh, let's say redirect equals false, so we don't do a redirect. Um, and let's run the page. So before we had this cannot modify header information. With a simple change up here, ob start, uh, actually yet yeah, let's change this to true so we do redirect with a simple ob start called at the top when we refresh now our page is going to redirect so if you're receiving this error um, that we've had before we use this let's just get rid of that if you're receiving um, this error here then you need to consider using the ob start now, at the end of the page, it's always good practice to use another function which will um, clean the output. So we say ob end, ob end clean. And what this function does is clears the output buffer um, but doesn't actually give us any contents back. So when we refresh this, um, that's still going to redirect. And if we change redirect to false, so we're not redirecting, and we refresh, oh, go back and refresh. Oh, okay. So if we use um, ob end flush, and we refresh, we get the page contents out. Um, so if the redirect is, is uh, false, we're not redirecting, but we're still displaying this even if this is not redirecting. If you are redirecting the page, um, if you're redirecting the page, you'll just need ob end clean. And what this does is it won't output anything on the page. Uh, there's no need for that. So uh, ob end uh, flush will put will. Okay, so ob start is storing um, the output in an internal buffer. Then ob end flush is flushing this buffer, but then producing the contents back onto the page. However, the way you think about it, if you were to log a user out, you don't really need to display anything. You just need to redirect them maybe to a thank you for logging it or, you know, see you soon page or something. So as it stands, this is like this. Then we change this to true and we successfully redirect the user to another page. This can also be an an internal file as well. You can say page equals index.php or page equals by.php or anything. So it doesn't have to just be a URL. It can be a either your URL or a file within your web server.